What's up my single chats and toxic gamers today the entire Call of Duty players are out on the streets Okay, suckers are going in ganging right now Everybody's hella mad and the amount of soya that you're about to see is crazy Leave a like on this video because we are under emo blame truth era ladies and gentlemen And let me tell you wait for this one Okay, because a lot of these people all I gotta say here is that stay focused my brothers Don't chase a pom pom and there's a scene that you're about to see but first of all you need to hear this roll it Hopefully it works out for you guys. I, I I just want to cover this though because I, I don't know, man. I, I <laughs> I'm so sick of this. We've been begging them to okay. talk for like four to five years now, and when they yeah. finally do, it's just provable lies. And he's talking about Modern Warfare 19 when it came out all the way back in 19, though. Oh, you know that was the first game that started the entire skill based matchmaking. Holy crap! I would crap, respect bro. them a lot more if they just cut the bullshit and told us they were flat out manipulating our experience yeah. at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two yeah, devs yeah. have called them out, and I'm gonna go over this. I didn't quite go into detail with this yesterday, but I'm gonna go into detail with it right now. Pro Reborn stated yesterday that he's also spoken to another developer and the response from them was this is not what I've heard internally. He oh, says, damn. no, sorry, that they weren't aware it worked the way that the blog post describes, as in yeah. skill-based matchmaking and how it's implemented. A dev that verifiably worked on the game, I do trust Pro Reborn, a dev that verifiably worked on the game has called it out. A dev oh that verifiably worked on the game. Oh, shit. So not just Brian Brad, we had another dev coming out. Oh my god. Okay, here's the thing though. That's good that you trust him, but do you, do you trust him with your wife? Because if you cannot trust him with your wife, then he's untrustable. I'm sorry, but he's untrustable. He's called okay, it like, out. I mean, look at this. Brian Bright is a former principal designer at Infinity Ward, having worked on Call of Duty in crazy. some capacity from MW3, my personal favorite Modern Warfare game, all the way up until 2019's Modern Warfare. Bright didn't expand at all on his comment, but many have taken it as proof. So he did peace out, though. Because this is what we were talking, and guys, get ready for what I have to show you next, okay? But I thought that he was still working, and you know, I was making the argument that, okay, if he did did peace out then he's probably gonna get fired but looks like that he pieced out all the way back that sbmm is not as old a game mechanic as the devs are suggesting yeah one claim is a reference that we've been gaslit with how skill-based matchmaking is old and was in call of duty 4 i mean i actually thought back to this right it's such a ridiculous claim when they said that skill-based matchmaking was all the way back in call of duty 4 mother <laughs> I have played Call of Duty yeah. 4 on PC. That game. This is one of those things that a lot of people are talking about because these seconds and twats are saying that <laughs> we had skill based me all the way back in Call of Duty 2007. And I'm sitting here as a brown man. All I gotta say here is that, okay, for a second, let's believe that. Bruh. Let, for a second, right? Let's believe that we had skill based mastering all the way back in 2007. Obviously, we did not. That's just lies. That's that's bullshit, okay? But let's believe it for a second. Even if we had skill based mastering, it was a better system than whatever crap that we have right now. Like the video if you agree. I would rather 2007, 2007 skill-based mastering than whatever bull squash that they got going on right now, bro. As a server browser, it's literally impossible to implement skill-based matchmaking in a game with a server browser. Same with World at War. They did away with the server browser around Modern oh, Warfare yeah. 2, but literally a year after the fact with World at War, like it still was impossible to implement. And I guarantee you, it was not any different on console. I saw Nero talking about how like you can make a new account caught for or whatever on console. Nero Shenema. And that is quite true though, because even in Battlefield 2042, we have uh, server browser and Battlefield is very notorious for having server browsers on uh, on PC not necessarily on consoles But a uh, Battlefield 2042 actually streamlined it on PC uh, or on console. I should say it's completely a different topic yeah. altogether Oh, if the game is good or sex still, if you know what I'm saying, because obviously a lot of people caught the erectile dysfunction when this game first came out, myself included. We were really, really high. We were shaking like the big homie, oh, Dolly JD. Shaking. You know, we were all shaking, brothers. We were all, all shaking. All our homies were like, this game is gonna save us, man. This is gonna take all the Call of Duty refugee over uh, to the battlefield front lines. But when this game first came out, dog, it couldn't even beat Vanguard, which is just absolutely absolute insanity because a lot of people don't call it vanguard people call it van uh garbage okay <laughs> and find like lower levels. I think that was just placebo. I, I I mean, I would be willing to bet my nuts that Call of Duty 4 back in the day had zero left one or right one though. Skill-based matchmaking. I, I would be willing to bet my nuts that Call of Duty 4 back in the day had zero skill-based matchmaking. I, I just do not think it was a thing at all. The reason I kind of stuck with Call of Duty over Gears of War over Halo 3 at the time was because 
they kind of combined ranked and casual into one, and it was just like, just play the game. There was no divide or whatever, you know? Okay. okay. I love playing casual matches with my friends on Halo 3. I like playing ranked with my good friends, but I couldn't play all the time, you know, because a lot of my friends weren't that good. So I, I couldn't play with everyone in my friend group, but Call of oh, Duty wow. just kind of fixed that. Like, it, it was kind of a mix between casual and ranked, but it was all still right. very, very just have fun. You could take it seriously. You could not take it seriously. You could do everything in between, and that's what I loved about it. But back to the main topic here, um, mm. you know, with two devs calling it out, one saying that one claim is just not true and one we saying that more. that's just we not what they heard internally on how skill based matchmaking works that's the big that like that's the big kicker the yeah. dev saying we must protect as a brown man i demand the entire community to raise their chin up like that okay like this okay Bruh. and we must protect these devs these are not just devs these are heroes to the <laughs> to the gaming community these people are heroes they're trying to do it justice we must protect them at all costs like the video if you are willing yeah, that's to just accept. not what they've heard internally i do not think these devs had any hand in actually writing out this blog post it just it does not correlate and yeah, to there sit there go, and boys. blindly accept it look man Guys, I'm so sick of the fucking coping losers in this community. I am so sick of the bootlickers. The people that just bend over and take it up the ass from Activision, the devs, whatever. That, I do agree with this one, yeah, but... This is why the game is in the state it's in. And if you think I'm just complaining for the sake of it, I am not. And you're out of your goddamn mind uh, if you... Okay, that's Cap, though. Stop the... That, that's Cap, man. Like, come on, Stop man. Stop the Cap. That's Cap, okay? You do complain a lot, but... But I guess today it's kind of justified, maybe, perhaps. But here's the thing, man. This is what I don't understand with the bootlickers, with the, the fanboys, right? Listen, man. Even I'm a fan of Call of Duty, right? You can argue that he's... Blame Truth is a bigger fan because he complains all the time about this game, uh, about this game right? And he still... And he still went ahead and bought Modern Warfare 3. Bruh. We need to call this out, but the, the thing that I don't understand with the fanboys is that, dog, you are literally getting mad over other people complaining about the game, and guess what? Their complaints aren't even wrong, though. You know, they're they're complaining about the game because those complaints are just fun. The game is not what it used to be, okay? Quite frankly, it is trash. Let's be real, it is trash, okay? You are literally defending them when they don't even give a damn about you, bro. They don't even know who you are. I would say, like, we should get together, dog. We should, all of us should get together. We should call them out on their bow squash and maybe something will be changed. Because, quite frankly, for the longest amount of time, right? Like, because we're like, there is no way they will never talk about skill-based mentoring. And guess what? They did. Why? Because Modern Warfare 3 sales are down. And everybody's complaining. Every time they do Q&A, Sikas are always asking the four and a half years later, they finally talk about skill based mentoring. And so if we keep on talking about this bullshit, don't buy microtransactions. If you are gonna buy the game, please don't buy microtransactions. Don't buy Battle Pass. I I'm a firm believer of, hey, it's your money, you do you. But this time, if you are somebody that is really sick and tired of the game and skill based matchmaking, I'm talking to you. If you're loving it, I'm not even talking about you, okay? Like, you can go ahead, you can buy like those $20, $30 BBC bundles. You can, <laughs> yeah, go for it, okay? I'm talking about the people that are actually not like in the system, but they're still feed them they still buy the microtransactions and the battle passes and support the game if you are if you hate that system don't buy at least at the very least don't buy battle pass and uh, microtransactions the biggest step would be to not buy the game uh, but i know a lot of people cannot do that like people cannot live without call of duty unfortunately so. think so they could like literally make a blog post praising mass genocide or something you know <laughs> they could do that and yet the Bruh. community would not care because the very next day they'll come out with some stupid like integration some stupid partnership or some other stupid seasonal thing and then everyone forgets about it Wait because it? this community or what's left of it are morons they're dumb they're they're sad individuals and i'm sorry if you still play call of duty but hey dude the truth hurts i'm not here to pamper you you know go to your mom and dad for that shit i'm here to tell you the truth like stop playing this there, there are so many better games out there this is the state of the game right now they come my, my guy plays battlefield 2042 <laughs> <laughs> but honestly though, I, I I love both Battlefield and, and the Call of Duty, right? And I gotta say this Battlefield 2042 it looks kinda better though. I mean doesn't look come on man, like at least he got some new maps. At least he got some new maps, right? Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, bro. Uh, uh, man, come on man. For Call of Duty, I, I gotta say this as a brown man. I hope we get at least one new map. 
in the next Call of Duty game. At least one new map, one new map. That's uh, that's what we're, our standards are right now, Brett. Not with a clearly BS skill-based matchmaking statement. But it doesn't matter because immediately after, they start plugging the Walking Dead integration. Which, yeah. I mean, that'd been, that'd been cool like 10 years ago when the show was good. I actually had to... I, I personally looked at that and I didn't even give a damn because I don't necessarily care for that. Yo, why don't they do something new, though? I agree with that. Like, I saw them on Twitter and I just scrolled past. I was like, whatever. I didn't get mad. I didn't get upset. I was like, I don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. And now he's bringing that up, too. To, like, Google to see what spinoff they're currently on. Talk about, like, two milked franchises coming together. I mean, is there any milk left out of either IP? I feel like both IPs are literally just two saggy titties. I, I mean, to be honest, like, the actors and employees, they were stealing, like, baby milk, yeah, you know, all the way back when that state of California filed a lawsuit, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, there's no milk left, sadly, bro. And when you try to get milk from them, nothing comes out except dust. It's just... <laughs> Let the stuff die. Think of something new and innovative and good. Stop rehashing everything. Stop nostalgia baiting. Call, Call of Duty and New doesn't go together, bro. Like, Christ. And if you don't believe me, just look at this Reddit post talking about okay. this okay. girl's butt, the skin's butt, which oh, I don't think this no. is jiggle physics because oh, it looks no. like an alien trying oh, to no. just erupt out of her asshole. Guys, we must stay we focused. We must stay focused, brothers. We must. Stay focused. Stay focused, guys. Don't chase a pom pom, man. All I'm saying here is that, guys, Bunda is not everything, guys. Like, Bunda is not gonna solve your problems. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is, bro. But the Western society is like, yo, the Bunda is gonna solve all your problems. It's the best thing ever. Nothing matters. Dog, chase your dreams. Don't chase the Bunda. Chase the dreams. The Bunda will come. The pom pom will come. Don't do it, man. <laughs> I mean, eventually, I get it. Like, uh, a man has, like, two knees, like, money, uh, pom pom. I, I get it. Like, man has two knees. I talk about it. And that's facts, okay? Facts are facts, okay? This is, like, a biological need. I get it, okay? I get it. But, dog, like, you must resist the urges. You must resist the urges. Stay focused. Go after your dreams. Chase that bag. And after that, the Buddha will come, though. And you're gonna get a better Buddha, too, so. I think it's a glitch and a bug, but these virgins are still losing their mind over this pixelated, you know, glitchy butt. Uh, I, I just, this is the state of the game. Just no jingle way. some keys in front of the community. It doesn't matter what you do, they'll eat it up. The, the amount of stupidity. Yeah, imagine, imagine that Bunda actually glitches, man. I can't. I, I really can't, bro. Like you know, I once thought the movie Idiocracy was just a funny comedy. Little did I know it was prophetic. This is 2024. Mental deficiencies surround me. I, I, oh. There's a point where when like Call of Duty's bad, but it has potential, it's it's good for my channel. People will tune yeah. in and watch me complain about some of the issues and, and want change. But there's a point where it gets so bad that Damn. it's bad for my channel. Damn. Where nobody cares Damn. about it, it's so bad. I and think this is like the realest shit he ever said, because let's be real, man. You make good news video, nobody wanna watch it! Who do you blame in this situation, right? Emergency meeting real quick, okay, guys, uh, we, gotta, we gotta talk about this one, okay? Emergency meeting. Who do you blame in this situation? Because I see this all the time. You make a negative video, people are like, okay, let's watch that, okay? You make a positive video, nobody cares, nobody cares. Do you blame the YouTubers? Do you blame the streamers? Do you blame yourself in the, uh, Do you blame the, the, the Call of Duty players? This is how I view this, okay? I don't necessarily blame people. I don't necessarily blame viewers, uh, gamers watching the negative videos. I feel like that it resonates with them and they know it's the truth and they feel kind of good about it when they hear from like a different person because they feel like that, yeah, what I was thinking about it, well, it's kind of validation, right? The game sucks and then you see a negative video on it, you watch it and you're like, this guy's speaking the facts. I feel the same way. I feel like that's what it is because I remember like a while ago, right? And when I say a while ago, I mean like years ago at this point. Dude, the class setups. Suckers would be making class setup videos. Suckers would be making positive videos. A uh, new season coming out. And there would be hundreds of thousands of millions of views. Now this dog, like, it's just nothing. It's like, I, I, see, I, I see a couple of YouTubers making like class setup videos and they don't even do that. Good. It's not that the YouTuber sucks, it's just that people don't give a damn about it. How you guys feel about it, man? And that's where we're at Agree, this year. Mark my words, on the one place we can track it at, Steam, 
Call of Duty will hit new lows in player count. I, I guarantee you in the next couple of months, we will hit the lowest the player count has ever been because we have a fucking 70 This, this is like emo blame truth prophecy, ladies Bruh. and gentlemen. Nostradamus, forget about it, okay? It's all about the emo blame truth. The emo blame truth was telling us the truth. Lock yourselves in the basement. The Martians are here. Our DLC to play all year. It's already old, it's already tired, only the biggest bootlickers are still, like, supporting this game and, and playing Damn. it or whatever. It's The people that defend right this only, crap is, is why we're in the position we are in. I, I'm done being nice. Like, I'm seriously done being nice. I do not care if you like me. I don't care if you're a content creator and you hate my guts. I Dog, like, I thought that you were done being nice, like, two, three years ago at this point. Like, come on, man. Like, bruh, I thought, like... <laughs> This is you not being nice. Well, bro, like I've seen like hundreds of thousands of your videos, dog. You've never been nice, bro. Bruh. You've never been nice, man. I am here trying to help everyone. Like straight up. You're going to see, not only are we going to see like the lowest Call of Duty player numbers on Steam that we can track this year, you are probably going to see the lowest engagement you will ever see Dang. on your channel this year as it pertains to Call of Duty. Wow, wow. If you're just someone that posts like, I don't wow. know, classes or uh, I got a nuke with this uh, Sidewinder build yeah. or whatever. If, if you're one of those people, you're probably going to see the lowest annual return. And, and also, the, the yeah, we talked about it, right? And also, just because of this, I got another point too. Um, you know the spectating videos, right? I remember when Modern Warzone, uh, Modern Warfare Warzone first came out. Dude, like everybody was making spectating videos. Spectating, spectating, and that was a meta for like a solid two years, right? And now guess what? Nobody's making them because people don't care about it. People quite frankly don't care about it. The reason that series banged and I, I believe Jay God also was making it, uh, then Jeff started making it, hopping on it, and, and then everybody started making those videos, uh, especially the content creators that are gameplay specific channels. And right now, <laughs> everybody's after the cheaters, the, 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 the hackers, and recently there was a new cheat that was discovered in, in the game as well that is to do with the glasses and a lot of people are using it. Guys, click on this video on the screen. This is a new cheat that just came out. You're probably going to regret it once you watch the video so your discretion is advised but i'll see you there if you choose